Interesting world. Good morning, all nations, all people, all tongue. Good morning to every man, woman, boy, and girl living and breathing in the face of this earth. Thank you for watching the videos. I make these videos to encourage the body of Christ and to win souls to Jesus Christ. I thank God for blessing these videos to reach all across the world and all over the entire earth. Please click the bell and subscribe for YouTube subscribers. And thank you for our Facebook uh, viewers. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Here is a fresh drink of water for you from the Holy Spirit. Enjoy. I will be reading from the King James Version of the Bible. And our topic today is generosity. Acts chapter 16, starting at verse 32. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. Paul is very thankful to the Ephesians. And this is a letter that he wrote to them. And he's thanking them. He's saying thank you. He's commending them for their efforts and for their generosity, generosity towards him. 33. I have coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel. Paul has not asked anyone for anything. He's not tried to take anything by covetousness. 34, yea, ye yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessity and to them that were with me. So Paul worked. He worked, he built tents. That was his occupation. He worked for, for his, to pay his way. 35, I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is better, it is blessed to give than to receive. And in the spirit realm, the body of Christ, we are new creations in Christ Jesus. We have to practice supporting the weak. We have to go the extra mile with others. We have to go the extra mile because we all need encouragement. And if at this particular time and point you don't need encouragement, you will. Because we all come to a place in a space in our life where we need to be encouraged. We need spiritual help. And God sends us to one another to encourage each other in the body of Christ Jesus. We are a new creation and we have to practice the ways of Jesus Christ. The old man has passed away. This is a lifetime journey. We have to learn the ways of doing it the way Jesus say do it, not the way we think we should do it, not the way we see others do it, living this Christian life, living this spirit-filled life. We have to do it the way Jesus Christ say do it. If you do not have a church home today, pray and ask God to lead you to the church home that he would have you to go to. Not the ones your family is going to, not the ones your friends are going to, but the church home that the Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, would have you to go to. Because there is where you're going to grow and expand and be discipled so that you, too, can disciple others. Thank you for listening. Be a blessing to someone today. And walk a mile with someone, two miles Encourage the weak. Be generous with your time. 
and with your gifts and with your blessings that God has blessed you with, be a blessing to others. We all need to be encouraged each and every day. Thank you for listening. God bless. Have a wonderful day.